All right, we're recording. Hey gang, Andy here, coming at you with an update on the whole Conage Gen 3 dramas scandal thingamadoobop. And uh, this is actually just an update to my response video that I made about a week ago at the time of this recording. And uh, since I made the video, it's gotten almost 10,000 views. So um, some things came up in the comments that I figured I should address that I didn't address in my initial video just because either that information wasn't out at the time or I just simply didn't know about it. So, um, just like with the first video, I'm going to put links in the boopity boop for uh, initial response videos and things like that. So, you guys have a full grasp on the whole situation and you're not just listening to me. <laughs> so, um, before I begin, I do have to put out a little disclaimer. This video isn't in any way advocating any kind of hatred towards, co towards Conagen 3, if I can talk. <laughs> so, um... I was just merely commenting and giving you guys an update from my previous response video and just kind of wrapping it up basically. So that said, here we go. And uh, I got some notes on the side here, so if I look off to the side that, that's what I'm doing. So let's begin. Um, so first off, let's talk about the, uh, the response video she did a while back and just how blah it was really. Um, so for, for those of you who don't know, Connor Gen 3 um, let out a response video talking about the situation and that's it really she she just talked about it she didn't um, confess that it was her she didn't apologize just nothing she just talked about it talked about this individual and that individual and honestly there was a lot of individuals <laughs> involved so it was hard to keep track of it all so um, I don't know I don't think the response video really amounted to anything it just merely addressed the situation and she didn't really take a stance on it either way, and just, it was. <laughs> That's pretty much all I could say about it. And uh, since then, she's taken down the response video. I guess she's tired of the dramas and all that, so. Um, a lot of other YouTubers have been uh, uploading mirrored copies of it, so uh, if you just do a little searchy search, uh, you should be able to find it. But uh, at the time of this recording, I got a couple links. Uh, once again, boopy boop for all that. Um, I don't know how long they're gonna last because a lot of them have been taken down due to oddly enough a copyright claim By Conan Gen 3 now. I didn't know that her name and stuff like that was copyrighted. I don't even know if that's a thing Could be I don't know if she went about doing that um, But for the purposes of this video, this is merely a commentary video um, So I, I definitely have fair use on using the name Conan Gen 3 you know, because I'm merely commenting on her and the situation at large. So that's that's fair use. <laughs> so, and speaking of which, um, there's been a, a couple YouTubers, uh, one in particular who I'm not going to mention, um, who've been sending me private messages about uh, taking down my response video involving Conan Gen 3 and that it's promoting hate and is, you know, illegally using the name and stuff like that of Conan Gen 3. To that, um, like I said, it's commenting on the situation, so it's considered fair use. And plus, if you guys like take not even 10 seconds to watch the video, you know that I'm not promoting any kind of hatred towards Conan Gen 3. Um, I'm just merely commenting on the situation, you know, trying to promote some some pleasant vibes, man. <laughs> and just you know, wishing her all the best. Hope she, uh, you know, I guess you know, hope she is in a better state of mind. You know, I, I don't know if what's going on in personal life. That that's not my place to say. But, um, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah, nothing negative is going to be said about her in this video, and nothing negative was said in the previous video, so it's nothing like that. So, I'm not going to take it down, at least not for those reasons, but if I do later, I'll put something out letting you guys know. So, anyway, um, next up, I'm going to talk about uh, Gimme Break Man, uh, Victor's suggestion to take down her channel just for a bit for, like, basically an internet timeout. Now, in my initial response video, I said that, you know, he suggested that to um, basically give her haters a, you know, a little bit of time to cool down. Um, but Victor's suggestion, the reason he suggested that was actually just to basically, sh as a show of apology, that she's, you know, really sorry for what she did and stuff like that. So, um, for whatever reason, I don't particularly agree with that. I don't, I don't think that's really necessary. Um, she can do that if she wants to. It's her channel, whatever. But me personally, I, I don't. I don't think it's really necessary for something like that. Um, 
and uh, stuff like that. So um, next up, uh, I got to talk about uh, Rachel taking down the uh, the video that started it all and stuff like that. You know, and a lot of people have been slamming her a little bit on it, and I really don't think that's ne that's necessary. I mean, it was her decision to release the video initially and talk about it. Um, she didn't have to, but she chose to. And uh, if she wants to take it down, I think she is well within her right to take it down. But um, if you guys want to see the video, just so that way you know what the heck's going on, once again, the link's in the boop boop <laughs> And stuff like that for mirrored videos and stuff like that. Yeah, and I just did some reading on the uh, Pretty Ugly Little Liar forum, which is the last little bit of news I'm going to talk about here before I wrap things up. Um, so if you guys want uh, like a whole investigative report and just like mountains of evidence and things like that uh, that I can't provide for you in this video because this is merely uh, a response video, it's an opinion based video, it's not you know a full thing. Uh, check out uh, the Pretty Ugly Little Liar forum which I'll put a link in once again in the boop boop boop. <laughs> so that way you guys can get the full scale of what's going on, full investigative reports, messages, things like that on the whole situation. So. All right, <laughs> so wrapping things up here, um, I'll say pretty much what I said in my last video, which was, you know, I don't have any ill will towards Mira. I'm not advocating any hate towards her. I don't hate her. You know, like I said, my only interaction with her was at the uh, YouTube Hanami party back in uh, earlier this year in 2014. Uh, once again, links for that. Boop -de -boop. So what I think she should do is, you know. Even if she doesn't make a video of it, she should at least address the situation and actually apologize rather than just simply mention the situation. So just own, just own up to it, fess up to it, apologize, and then we can all move on from this. So once again, no ill will, just nothing but smiles <laughs> and stuff like that. So uh, with that said, this is the Andy Song. Sign up for now. Thanking you guys for tuning into this. Uh, Kind of short, at least for me, video. And uh, my other stuff. I also gotta thank you guys for liking, for the thumbs, comment, subscribing. Send a few uh, uh, Sorry, I had a burp there. <laughs> Send a few friends to the party. And uh, hey, as always, we'll see you next time. Get to later, guys. Bye.